hey welcome back this is 3d in css3 project video number three in the last video we learned how to rotate in x axis and i just saved the file as rotate x axis html all right so this is exactly where we left last time right so in this video we're gonna put some content in there and we want to see the contents in both sides separately okay so to do that let's first put this uh, change this x to y and in here as well and then in the inner section we're gonna have two more span classes span section with a class called object one I'm gonna grab this paste it in there and change this object one to two okay so now we have two uh, span tags in there one is called object one object two within the inner section okay so we're gonna style them but first add some content in there one and two okay you can see the number in here let's style them appropriately let's comment this out all right so object one so let's add a font size to this and text align center okay didn't work no worries and then let's add a color crimson and then copy this or we could just add object to in there so that they both have the same property and value in here and now now let's style them separately object one would have a transform value it in the z direction so object one will translate to z direction one pixel and let's grab this copy this paste it in here change the name to two and let's give them minus one and we need to add the object one and two span classes span tags a um, position absolute property and value and that way it's going to work so now we can see that the they both have two numbers separately okay so because of this translate z property and value so translate z means it is coming this direction okay in three dimension, three dimension towards you z means towards you or away from you far away or okay okay so that's how it's been done and cd2 is flipped other side not proper way to fix it you just have to add another property a value in there called rotate y degree and put minus 100 degree and two will be fixed any number or any content that is flipped opposite you just have to put the rotate y to minus 100 degree and thus then it will make it right for you okay so that's that all right we can also try to keep these numbers in the middle let's add translate x 100 pixel let 
let's grab this. Put it in here as well. Okay, so for the minus, for the two, number two, you need to add the minus 100. And there you go. And we can also make them in the center, like adding the line height, line height like 2 or 1.2 or 5 or 6. All right, looks about right. Okay, so that's how we fixed our two sided content in no time. Just added these two span tags and just style them on them. That is style on them, and that's it. That's how you do the um, flip image thing. And we can also do it on hover. Okay, so that's all this animate. So we, if we want to take effect on hover what we need to do is that we need to add this class called container hover so basically what we're saying is that when we hover over the container do something right so when we hover over the container we want our inner class to rotate right so transform rotate in y degree y dimension y axis um, 180 degree okay there you go it's rotating but we cannot see because we don't we don't have any uh, transition effect applied into the inner element inner selector Okay, in here so let's add that transition three seconds linear let's add all so now if we hover over it's gonna animate properly there you go Is hovering 100 degree it means it will flip one time okay and that, that's how it's been done if we put um, 360 degree then it's gonna rotate in full it's gonna have a full rotation there you go but on hover effect it's normally 180 degree is appropriate okay all right so in this video we learned how to add the content in both side and how to add hover effect on the content element that hovers when it's been hovered then then the object of the container element rotates all right so in the next video we will be working on more complex thing we'll be making the um, uh, we'll be making the 3d cube let's build the 3d cube all right so catch you in the next video thank you for your time